at 6. First, the highlights. Sonwulu inspect Lagos Central Food Security Systems Logistics Park at Kitui Jiri in Ekbe and pledges support for food sufficiency. Federal government disburses 1.2 billion naira to over 20,000 beneficiaries of presidential grant in Delta State. On the foreign scene, Russian strikes hit Syrian city Aleppo as rebels take control. In sports, Super Falcons target first win over France in international friendly. Now the details. I am Taiwo Barua. Lagos State Governor Mabajide Songwulu has expressed his administration's dedication to make the state self-sufficient in the areas of food security and logistics. Governor Songwulu made this known when he led members of the Executive Council on an inspection tour of the Lagos Central Food Security Systems Logistics Park at Kitsui Jiri in Ekwe area of the state. Governor Sonwulu explained that vision for the logistics park, which was conceptualized three years ago, is sited on over 200 hectares of land, was the first phase ready for operations in the second quarter of 2025. According to the governor, the Dioro Food Hub and four others currently under construction in Aja, Agegi, Oregon, and Ikurudu, we are feed from this central food security systems and logistics park, which will reduce food prices and ensure easy movement of food items and farm produce. What we're about is we're writing our destiny gradually into our hand. We want Lagosians, we want the citizens of Lagos to have the ability to have what we call food sufficiency, food adequacy. And what it will do for us is that it will help us be able to stabilize the prices so that prices will not skyrocket unnecessarily. Earlier project manager Samuel Samuel explained that the project, which is based on a public-private partnership, will transform the area with facilities that transform and bring sanity to the red meat value chain, dry and wet food storages, logistics, among others. Lagos State Government has confirmed that the State Mental Health Institute and Psychiatric Rehabilitation Center in Kitsui Jiriyakwe will be operational in the next 12 months. Governor Mbabajide Songwul stated this during an inspection tour of the project which is being handled by the Ministry of Health and Works and Infrastructure. The governor explained that the facility, which is the biggest in sub-Saharan Africa, was the first phase of 500 bed space living quarters. Consultation rooms, among others, is sited on 25 hectares of land. Governor Sonwulu noted that the facility demonstrates the present administration's commitment to the overall wellness of Lagosians. Um, we believe that this aspect of uh, health delivery is equally important. We believe that we have seen um, enough um, health challenges in terms of uh, mental health issues, and we need to, you know, make a classic case, you know, of this and make sure that it's first in class, you know, the best that people can come in, you know, come for psychotherapy, psycho rehabilitation, and get well in a serene and in a very decent environment. That was Governor Sonwulu chairing an inspection tour of the Lagos State Mental Health Institute and Psychiatric Rehabilitation Center in Kitui Jerry, Epwe. Lagos State Commissioner for Youth and Special De Social Development, Mobola Jogunlendi, has charged core members to imbibe core values for personal and national development to be achieved Ogunle this at the 2024 Batch C Stream One Core Members Swearing In Ceremony at the NYC Orientation Camp Yanoi Baja, Agigi, Lagos. He implored the core members to take full advantage of the various mentorship and entrepreneurship programs and activities under the Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development Initiative, 
which have been designed for the core members to attain self-sufficiency and financial independence during and beyond the service year. Also speaking, the NYC Lagos State Coordinator, Christiana Samwang, informed the 4,335 prospective core members made up of 1,484 males and 2,851 females that the orientation program is an integral part of the service year aimed at preparing the graduate youth for the complex task of nation building through military drills, lectures, and topical subject skill acquisition, advocacy training, games and sport, and social activities. Lagos State Government has fixed Monday, December 2, for the second phase of the Basic Education Certificate Examination, BECE, Reset Exams. Director, Lagos State Examinations Board, Adibayo Rushulu, said the second reset for the year 2024 Basic Education Certificate Examination became necessary to provide another opportunity for students who missed out in the previous BECE reset held on Wednesday, 6 November 2024. Orochelu noted that the Lagos State Examinations Board is an examination body that promotes sustainable academic excellence in the state and equally determines the life of the student through the conduct of credible, reliable and acceptable examinations. According to Orochelu, there is a need for the exams board to give the student who missed out on the initial visit another opportunity to write their core subjects, including English studies or mathematics or both. Reiterating the policy of the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, which says, leave no child behind. The initiative aims to provide equitable access to free and qualitative education in the state. The director urged all relevant stakeholders and school authorities to ensure that the affected student take advantage of this unique opportunity and seek utmost cooperation and understanding in working together to achieve the shared objectives. Now to the rest of the stories. The federal government says it has disbursed over 1.2 billion naira to 24,000. 104 beneficiaries of its grant and loan scheme across the Delta State. The state focal person for the presidential grant and loan scheme is Yama Okunta, who made this known at a town hall sensitization in Asaba, the Delta State capital, thanked the federal government for the initiative, which he said had impacted many people in the state. Also speaking, the representative of the Bank of Industry in Delta, Moses Nega, collaborated corroborated that of the 200 billion era approved by the federal government for the presidential grant and loan scheme 1.205 million 150,000 era has been disbursed to 24,103 beneficiaries across delta in his remarks delta state governor sharif overrevery lauded the federal government for disbursing over 1.2 billion naira to beneficiaries of its grant and loan scheme across the state. The governor called for more sensitization at the grassroots using a more friendly communication system that would enable the people to understand the programs better. Jeopardy spokesman of the House of Representatives, Philip Agbese, has expressed confidence that Nigerians will recognize and appreciate the effort of the executive chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Zakir Zadidiji, for spearheading reforms aimed at revitalizing the nation's fiscal policy framework. According to Agbese, these reforms are encapsulated in four tax bills currently before the House of Representatives for consideration. Speaking to journalists in Abuja, Agbese praised Zadidiji for his innovative approach to tax administration which has significantly boosted the country's revenue. The federal lawmaker also urged Nigerians to support President Bolatinimbo's tax reform laws. Bills noting that lawmakers prioritize the nation's collective interest over individual or sectional considerations. The proposed tax bills have sparked tensions between the federal government and the 36 state governors, with the governors demanding their withdrawal 
to allow for more consultations. In foreign news now, Russia has launched airstrikes on part of Aleppo, largest Syria's second largest city. It comes as rebel forces, have taken, control, as rebel forces have taken control of the majority of Aleppo after launching the largest offensive, against the, against, against, the against, the largest offensive against the government this in week. years the earlier this week. The surprise offensive prompted the first Russian strikes in the city since 2016 and saw Syria's military withdraw its troops from the city. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says more than 300 people have been at killed, including at least 20 civilians since the offensive Aleppo began. Have Roads into Aleppo so has, have been closed. So has, so has the, the airport. So has the, the airport. In sport now, Nigeria Super Falcons, Super Falcons will Le file Blue out against Le Bleu in a friendly at the Stad Raymond Copa. Angers tonight, the nine-time nine African champions, will be looking to record the efforts to win against the hosts. The, the Le Bleu won all three previous meetings between the two teams, including an eight new White wash in a friendly France in 2018. France claimed a slim one nil victory in the last meeting at the 2020, 2019 FIFA the Super Women's World Cup. The Super Falcons head into the game in buoyant mood following last, month's following last month's successful outing in the double header friendly against Algeria. There was that two nil of the green ladies two nil and four one. Justin interim head coach Justin. Madugu will also look to maintain his unbidden in charge of the team. He has the team players to pick from, he has from team players to pick from defender, following Galatasaray defender Uluwatu Singh. The main withdrawal due to injury. Withdrawal, the, highly injury. the highly anticipated encounter will kick off at 9:30 p.m. Nigerian time. That's it on the news at 6, but just before we go. Do not drive without a valid driver's license. license. Like you can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X, at Traffic Radio, 961.ng, Facebook, Legos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM, Instagram, Legos Traffic Radio, 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio. You can 961. Also you can also visit our website www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that's the song the administration launched? Lagwide with 1,000 units of sports utility vehicles. You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Governor Babaji Desong has expressed his administration's dedication to make the state self-sufficient in the areas of food security and logistics. The federal government has disbursed over 1.2 billion naira to 24,104 beneficiaries of its grant and loan schemes across we Delta. We also told you that Russia has launched airstrikes on parts of Aleppo, Syria's, Syria's second largest final city. Finally, in Sport Nigeria, Super Falcons will file out against Le Bleu France of France, France at in a friendly at the Stade Raymond Copper Angers tonight. For contact, for contact the message, with the newsroom, send, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Kayeli Bafalashiri. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening.